guys, and welcome to GT Live Monday Edition. Monday rolled around again, and we're here for it. Monday rolled around, and we rolled right in and onto the couch. That was that's basically that's how we ended up here. Ro rolling rolled in on it, the car wheels. Let's be honest, rolling is our predominant mode of transportation at this point. We're beyond walking at this point. We're beyond running. It's just slugging and rolling. <laughs> just flop. A lot of flopping. Ugh. I feel like flopping is a predominant verb in my life right now. I flop places. He flopped over to the left. He flopped, flopped out of the car, flopped into bed, flopped on the couch. A lot of flopping. Very, I'm very floppy these days. Wow. I'm not just talking was... about my gut hanging out, too. <laughs> floppy gut, floppy arms, floppy mat pad. I can't wait to see how this segues to the game we're playing today. Speaking of walking, <laughs> or not walking, or walking when you're told to walk, today we're playing the pedestrian. Hope which you guys had a good I weekend. Hear, we're here to play some game. games. I hear it's a puzzle game. Mm -hmm. Is it a puzzle Ooh. game, Chris? It sure is. Great. Oh, boy. I, about walking? Is it a is it a puzzle game about walking? Uh, no. Do, are you unfamiliar? Because if not, if you are, that's exciting. I, think I, I, are you I really don't know. Chris, you do know that I, I try to stay blind to most of the games that we play here, except for the ones where I'm like, hey, here's a good game that we should play. Well, anywho, I'm excited. This is it a shows. Really thanks, game. thanks, Jason. Are, are you packing? Yeah. Great, good. Chris has been doing all the packing around here, so good. Get get on that. Oh, the shade, the shade. So anyway, what? Matthew. What, what Chris? Yeah. You were explaining to me the pedestrian. Well, it's really it's it's a simple game. I think you'll be able to figure it out. It's pretty cute, and I kind of don't want to ruin the cute surprise. Great. Oh, okay. All right, that's fair. Let's well, not ruin the cute surprise. Hit us up hashtag Geechee Live over on Twitter. I'll be in the chat and on Twitter on the phone. You can join us there. We will be playing live. We'll be enjoying it. Oh my gosh, how are you guys? How's President's Day going? Yeah, how is everyone's President's Day? Who is your favorite president? Tell us who your favorite <laughs> president is, everyone. Chris is apparently Martin Van Buren. Chris it's already true. told us today, his favorite president, Martin Van Buren. Definitely one of the cooler named so, presidents. As long as you're not dropping Harding or anyone. Har Harding was Teapot Dome, right? He had, he had all sorts of scandals. Harding. He had all sorts of scandals and corruption. I mean, most of them do, but like, I, was I mean. I say, is that different but from like Harding, most other presidents? Hard, apparently it was. Apparently. Here, no, apparently, it's funny that you bring that up. Cause, cause right, like uh, there's so much that you don't see behind the scenes in, in terms of politics and stuff. And I'm sure like all of them have like their level of corruption or whatever. But the reason I call it Har Harding in, in particular is because of the fact. Oh, that, cheap hot don't. Yeah, is right. because of the fact that he's one of the few whose corruption is actively taught to you in history class. like. That goes, all of them are corrupt. So he was real sloppy just, about it. Either he's sloppy about it, or he's just so brazen about it that he's okay. like, whatever, Teapot Dome. So you know that Teapot Dome was a thing from yeah, U.S. history. I do. Which we all probably know was a thing from U.S. history. What was it? Oh, I forget. I, <laughs> I forget. I don't know. It was about some land, wasn't it? He bribed some people. Okay. Uh, um, corruption. About, oh, it was about oil reserves. Mm, see, land. About bribing people over oil, like oil drilling. See? How exciting. Wow. Man, isn't it always about oil drilling? Is it? <laughs> it's like, I don't know. I feel like I feel like throughout history, oil drilling has You're been like, one of the aren't predominant all things. All presidents corrupt. Isn't it always about oil drilling? <laughs> Matthew has just, just like these strange stereotypes in your brain about about presidents. Let's have some other favorite presidents. So yours is Harding. <coughs> we're gonna we gotta play a game at some getting, point. We'll get there. It's President's Day. You gotta pay some respect. <laughs> pay some respect. Harding, okay. Van Buren, Jason, favorite president. I don't have one. How do you not have one, Jason? Jason? Be a patriot. God. Be a patriot and name a president. <laughs> Just name one. <laughs> name a name a freaking president. Adams. 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 Adams is okay. I'll, I'll go. Adams. 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 That's a very oh, Jason. Adams choice. has a musical about him. All right, like Adams. Uh, yeah, but uh, not when he was president. Adams when still. was also responsible for signing the Sedition Act, which was is like insane. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, 
what, what was the sedition? I love what that. Do you think it, was, it made it illegal to say anything not nice about the government. It was very. Oh quickly well, I broke that. I, you, are you pro censorship? Jeez. Yeah, Jeez, you would Jason. be pro censorship, Jason. I was just Jason. told to name a president. <laughs> Getting all defensive. The sedition. Act. <laughs> Look at what. Well done. Well done, all of us having random factoids about presidents in our head. My random fact <laughs> for, for Martin Van Buren earlier today was that he invented the phrase, okay. I knew that like one. when you say, okay, that, that came from Martin Van Buren. Fun fact. Oh, that's great. Here, I'm going to hop in the pedestrian. We can keep talking about presidents. What's your favorite? Oh, you're, you're at Harding. Mine? You're, you're, Taft. Ooh. Taft? Taft. The only president to also be. Chief Justice of the Supreme Court. Indeed, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Fitz, Chris, why? I'm, Are you I'm just shocked looking up this. president fact? Uh, Chris, how do you know this stuff? I was an avid history student in high school. <coughs> there you go. Loved me my history. <laughs> wow, uh, that's amazing. All he right. had great facial hair. I do know that about him. Um, Ooh, do I choose man or woman? I'm going to go woman. This is super cute. Yeah, Taft. Because it's not cool to like uh, Jefferson anymore. I used to be a big Jefferson fan. Were you a Jefferson fan? It's not, it's so uncool to like him because of like, he, he was, well, I mean. because Hamilton completely. Hamilton ruins, yeah. Hamilton ruins Hamilton, Jefferson Hamilton for everyone. Ruins, <laughs> Hamilton, the musical, completely. I feel like a lot of musicals are either helping the legitimacy of presidents or hurting. 1776, I didn't know about the Sedition Act. I'm just like, Adam sings about saltpeter and is, Played by Mr. Feeny. Yes. Thumbs up there. If you guys have never seen the movie 1776, it's a musical about the writing of the Declaration of Independence. As fun as you can imagine that being. But it stars uh, it stars some familiar faces. Um, Jefferson is this like flighty, is this like, I don't know, is just like this random flighty guy in it. Adams is just like this, uh, the worst friend. <laughs> He's, he's pushy, he's annoying, and Franklin is just trying to get the girls. <laughs> right. and, and, yeah, I was gonna, and, and Ham, yeah, so Hamilton, like, mm -hmm. a, a lot, Andrew Jackson has a musical about him, Bloody, Bloody Andrew Jackson. Bloody, Bloody Jackson. Andrew Jackson, not helping him also, out. Not, it made him cooler, but it also, like, revealed how just miserable of a president, like, he was a cool, like, wacky daredevil guy, so it was like, look at how cool this guy was, but he was a terrible, horrific president, so, you know. Ford doesn't have a musical about him, Ford. so I don't remember anything so about him. Anything. I don't know anything about no him. No one knows anything about Ford. Uh, who is the, Ford? The musical Assassins by Stephen Sondheim uh, taught everyone about the presidents who had assassination attempts on them. Oh boy! So that's interesting. Also, I'm. I'm People ask him to turn the music down, Chris. Okay. But uh, see, look, look at what we're learning. <laughs> what an educational live stream, friends. Uh, so I want to connect. CIA says, I ain't American, but I know some from Good Mythical Morning. People are learning their presidents from Good Mythical Morning now? Well, that's good. They're doing a service. They're trying that nasty foods, and they're teaching you your presidents. Catherine Hood says, 1776 is a great musical. I used to watch it all the time, actually. It's hot as hell in Philadelphia. Whoa, yeah. hey. I know, demonetized. Steph I know, you, you I know. Swore, Stephanie. Um, you demonetized us. <laughs> why is this one broken? Is this, Why is it broken? What am I doing wrong? Amy Patterson says, 1776 is my jam. He's obnoxious and disliked. You know that, sir. Wow. Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, is that why? It's, it's a line from, uh, it's a line about Adams. Oh, he's obnoxious. these things, too. It's why they were like, John Adams, you can't do anything. You like, you should not be the one who proposes the whole so Declaration of Independence thing because no I one likes it. Yeah. I get it. There it is. That's how the puzzle does. That's how we do in Puzzle Land. We go, oh wait, no, I gotta do it. Oh, Matthew, come on. Matthew, get good. Get good, Matthew. Yeah. It goes here and then here, there it is. Sorry, I was thinking about presidents. I'm seeing- I was thinking about, I was thinking about Assassin's the Musical, and I was thinking about presidents. Understandable. My bad. I'm seeing some support in the chat for, for Teddy Roosevelt. I think he gets a lot of love because his name is Teddy. Uh, it does I think help. that that helps your case. It's also it's a, the youngest ever American president. Yeah, it's good branding. Teddy Roosevelt, though, wasn't he like he me? Had, what? Teddy Roosevelt? Yeah. Who, he had, did he have polio? No. Is he the one you're polio? thinking no, FDR. FDR. Oh, I'm thinking FDR. Yeah. You're thinking FDR. Teddy 
Wasn't he like su supposedly like really aggressive? He was the really aggressive. He was walk softly and carry a big stick, wasn't he? Yes. See? Yeah, yeah I remember that. I, I really didn't appreciate history. All Tasha that much. Reed giving some love to James Polk. James oh, K James some Polk K action. Hey. Yeah. What, what, what random Yeah, what's Polk your factoid, factoid about Polk? About Polk <laughs> is arguably, depending on whether or not you think Andrew Jackson is from North Carolina, the only president from North Carolina. Hey -o. Polk is certainly the only president to graduate University of Chapel Hill, though. So. Oh, I don't know. I don't know grad. how I feel about him after that, but you know. Wait, he's a UNC grad? He is. Huh. Yeah. Wait, why'd you say you don't know about the? What about Jackson? Well, yeah, what Andrew Jackson is either from North Carolina or Tennessee, but they're not sure. They're he not won't give sure? up his birth certificate he either. Won't give up oh his my birth gosh! Certificate. <laughs> he probably didn't have one because it was the 1800s. Yeah, yo. <laughs> Polk is also the Manifest Destiny president. He's responsible for us having California in the United States. I love at 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 cost. <laughs> at, at horrific. <laughs> Uh, cool. Uh, <laughs> Yay! Ryan Kaufman. <laughs> History is fun. Did we fun. need California? I mean, the tacos and the mountains are wonderful. Oh, it's blocked. Did we okay, need I it? it? I don't know. Uh, I get it. Okay, so let's see. Uh, Wami Yotter says FDR is my favorite. Ryan Kaufman, Zachary Taylor had a pet alligator, which does win him a lot of points in the favorite pres president's race. That is pretty cool. That's pretty legit, I gotta yeah. say. Oh wait, I, so you can't cross over lines? Here, one sec. I'm learning the rules of this game. It is a very good game. Even though we're talking about presidents, Sarah let Murphy, it be known. Oh, the, the game is good? Oh good. The, ga the game is good. I'm so glad. Uh, Sarah Murphy cross. says that George Washington is, is her favorite. There, I, There's a classic. I know. Someone I, choosing a classic finally. It's, yeah, right? There we go. Everyone's like, no, I'll pick the no random Lincoln middle has, one. Has, has Lincoln fallen on hard times now? Are people are people not fans of Lincoln anymore? I I know Lincoln right? was controversial for a while. I don't know if he's still controversial. Well, uh, Chris. Oh, Sarah Turner, my favorite leader of America is King George the Third. Oh <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's my favorite answer. Yeah. <laughs> that's, <incredible. laughs> that's great. That's great. Oh, that's that's, that's really funny. Okay. <laughs> Tell us a weird fact about Lincoln, Chris. Um. <coughs> Abraham Lincoln did not have a beard before he was president, but his wife suggested it would be a good idea to make him look more oh, in chargey, manly man. Because he was you know, gawky. He was committing a lot of war crimes and stuff. What? Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> it's cool. I know. I know. Lincoln. Lincoln. I'm kind of like, ooh, I don't know. Uh, Maria. So you. Uh, Marie, right? Maria Mankin says Millard Fillmore is a king. <laughs> I, I think, just like that line. I think Millard Fillmore <laughs> is a snack. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Millard <laughs> Fillmore is a snack. What a snack! Ah, <laughs> oh, so good. Uh, <laughs> Haley likes his Lincoln is my favorite. Okay, that's there good. we go. There's a Lincoln. All right. All it's right. interesting how you never hear about the war crimes of Lincoln until you talk to a Southerner. I have noticed that. Like I never you you were the first person to talk he's, to me about. He's it. just more controversial than than you know. He's just he's everybody has co like we do said. They, they every president has scandals. Every president has con controversy. You net positive. Do they that's teach, all that matters. Did they teach you that in the sort South? Because they definitely didn't teach us that in the North. I mean, they they totally. Or land maybe it was you. just when we. Maybe it was just like. I don't know. You learn learned. it. You learn it in history. I mean. Yeah. I never learned, learned it in history he's class. He's a good never. They apparently didn't teach me about any presidents in the North. So. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, history was. Michigan definitely, is like we're really far up there. It doesn't matter who's in the White House. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we're <laughs> very far north. <laughs> I know. I know that people rocks, right? Not the president. <laughs> <laughs> you know who? Uh, what the heck is that? Avengers: Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, I don't know. Okay. okay. Oh. Hunted vampires. That's what I. Know. Oh yeah, the uh -huh. Abraham Lincoln vampire. I watched that. It was not as good as I hoped it would be. Guy Cack eighteen says Andrew Johnson all the way. Oh. Really? Oh. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh my. Andrew Johnson is the first president <laughs> to be impeached. <laughs> <laughs> I can do this all day. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. Right? Clearly you can. Oh, man. Oh, uh, what's this trying to tell me? What is this trying to tell me, Gabe? Oh, this is so Portal. Good. So this is a Portal. 
I'm going down here. I'm assuming that this maybe. Ella Porter's into Jefferson. Uh, William Henry. So were a lot of ladies, apparently. I know. Grace. <laughs> he was. He was a. He was a. Yeah, Grace. You know. Okay, Grace. <laughs> Grace and Smith. William Henry Harrison has to be the most disappointing U.S. president. He wow. died from a cold a few weeks in because he was too stubborn to delay his inauguration speech <coughs> due to rain. I wow. mean, you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. Wow. What did I do wrong here? Can give I, oh, and then on the other hand, Peach Juice says, "Give love to William Henry Harrison." <laughs> <laughs> so this guy goes. <laughs> Jason Beeger says Je President Taft got stuck in a bathtub once. Well, that's, that's, that's my true, president, it, right? <laughs> that's my president. <laughs> okay, so moving it after you've done it resets it. So what? Okay, so I need to do this one on this side. Hold, hold, hold up. Okay. You guys okay, can, go ahead. This is just just delightful, friends. Here we go. There. So now you go here. You oh, go here's here. one you don't see very oh, often. Like Giselle Ignacio says James Monroe, and she says it in all caps. <laughs> so I'm assuming she knows something about <laughs> James Monroe that would lead her to that. that no one else does. <laughs> Chris, James Monroe, go. James Monroe, responsible go. Responsible for the Monroe Doctrine, which is true. Basically, yep. introducing our whole like Western Hemisphere-centric policy of that era. Oh, that they killed me. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. The Western Hemisphere is being the U.S. like let's okay. have, like slow-key imperial powers. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I was gonna say, yeah, that's that's all right. Great. <laughs> this is so educate. I'm learning so much. I in in school, we had one year, junior year of high school was when they finally taught us U.S. history. Yeah. That was it. Before that, junior year of high school. Before that, it was world history. And even that World was, history was so fun. It wasn't. And AP European history, so fun. Actually, so I'm Disagree so sorry, Chris. Disagree on all fronts. All I of my history was super boring. I think U.S. history is so boring. I, like, I loved European history. I loved world history. U.S. history, I was like, oh, oh my gosh. Oof. Were you yeah, oofing? Yeah, I was oofing. I was oofing hard. You were oofing hard? Mm-hmm. That's, it's less... It's a it's a weird one. It's a weird history. And there are I mean, a lot of presidents who didn't do hardly anything. They were just around. Right. Yeah, and it's I mean cuz it's weird in the US, we have we have a checks and balances system, right? So a president could have had really strong beliefs but enacted nothing, or a president could have just been like, "Hey, I'm going to leave things at the status quo and you can just coast through, through like a couple of terms that way." It is. That's what made AP US fun, though, is because for those presidents, you never really talked about them. You were like, they were president, and then all this other stuff was happening, which they did nothing about, but right. it was happening. But they were there, <laughs> right? Oh, Wither says John Tyler, tip a canoe and Tyler, too. Oh, oh yeah, man. I know all about oh, that yeah. one. Absolutely. Wait, what am I missing here? So this controls this. How do I control the elevator, though? Am I, am I doing something wrong with the elevator? Did I miss all the elevator controls in the last tutorial? Uh, hmm. Why isn't the elevator going? The elevator is operating. This c controls this. What am I doing wrong with the elevator? Am I doing something wrong with the elevator? I haven't been paying attention at all, no, so I wouldn't What? Be able to I know. couldn't. I couldn't tell. I've been in the chat. But good okay. for you. I mean, it's nice to do that once every so often. Uh, here are a couple you don't hear all that often. Undyne Rockwell says, Lyndon B. Johnson. And Marina Heroin says, Eisenhower. Ooh. Oh. Uh, Eisenhower yeah. responsible for the interstate system. Yep. And Lyndon B. Johnson responsible for the Vietnam War. <laughs> <laughs> but also, two of the most important civil rights <coughs> acts to pass in the 1920s. So a very, very weird figure. Yeah. LBJ. Wow, right. nice. Good one. Good one. Hey, you know you know who is great on season three of The Crown? LBJ. He was pretty. pretty right? Funny. I actually thought he was a very interesting character as he portrayed was by season three Great of the Crown. What might, you might have to it, qualify great it was a in, little it, bit. It was, it was very in, he, he was an arrogant SOB. It, it, was, it was a fascinating portrayal. <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah, it was a cool scene, yeah. It was sure. a cool scene. Thanks, that everyone's judging me. Right now, <laughs> thanks everyone. Caitlin McCain. What am I doing wrong with the with these guys? I don't know. 
before I just had to hop into the thing and then it would go up. Now it's not going up and I'm kind of concerned. Hold up. Okay. Caitlin McCabe says Ulysses S. Grant could get it. <laughs> could wow. Wow. D could he indeed get it? Chris? <laughs> oh, sorry, I was checking sound. What? Could Ulysses S. Grant get it? Oh, he could totally get it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 man. I he love it. A, he was a rough dude. Rough I, and tumble kind of general. Right? Rough and tumble. He actually kind of wanted to keep fighting when the Civil War was over. That was the hard part, was to get him to stop. <laughs> <laughs> Just stop. Stop! Oh, I get it. This, oh, yeah, I he was, uh, okay, hold yeah, on. he was a little overboard. Um, I get it. U.S. Okay, Grant. That's not his real name, though. He changed it to Wait, U.S. Grant. He did? Oh, yeah, what a I don't, poser. I don't remember what the OG name was, but yeah, he, his out. name is not literally U.S. Grant. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, really? He changed his name? It wasn't Ulysses S. Grant? Come on. I, I feel betrayed. Right. Bway Girl 91 says Woodrow Wilson with a lot of exclamation points. Great speller and ended child labor. <laughs> but really, the speller part. The let's speller. be honest. Let's list that the first. The <laughs> speller. <laughs> Great speller. <laughs> His grammar was second to none. Let's oh, be honest. Oh man. Oh, that's great. This is Kanga 8104. Alexander Hamilton. You just saying that because of the musical. He is not say, a president. God. It wasn't, it wasn't yeah. a president. Try again. <laughs> <laughs> I can understand how you might think that, but it wasn't. Oh, man. Oh. Right? I, I don't know if it's, if it's my thing. Because, yeah, my history classes weren't great. Um, that was the thing. Like, we learned hist like American history in junior year and then civics, like, for half a year Mm. Senior year and civics was just like here's how the government works. We were literally we never taught phys uh, physics. Civics. <laughs> civics. Really? I we're, wish we had. Been. Right? We didn't have civics at all. More useful. <laughs> right? Way more useful. Right? I'm actually surprised by I that. I know. No, we were too busy taking moral philosophy. Oh, that. I mean. That was. The thing. <laughs> welcome to the good place. Uh, I know. Uh, let's see. Dark Fang 9742 oh, says. Okay. My favorite president is Zachary Taylor, only president from Louisiana, and he died drinking <coughs> milk and eating cherries. Oh boy. Is that true, Chris? People think he may have been poisoned, but nobody knows. Right? They, they were like contaminated cherries. Really? Really? Tech Toyu begs, don't forget Garfield. That's hey. true. Don't want to leave out Garfield. <laughs> He's famous for getting assassinated. <laughs> Yeah, he a became a meme. Of them. Well, his cat became. And P Money Vlog says JFK. So same Z's. Same. Uh, let's see. Toxic Waste Thirty Nine in Austin, Poston, Bush, Bush. Uh, oh man, a modern president. I know, I know. I, it's almost cheating to go modern. Is it? Right? I don't think it's cheating. You can't be a president who was during your lifetime. You got to pick a historical one. Whoa. I feel like I don't know. Whoa! I mean, I guess... Hey, hey, hey! I think I think that's being a bit harsh there. Is Steph. it? Is it? Should we allow? Should we allow modern presidents? Absolutely. Okay. Modern presidents All right. Can, can play the All game. right. Fine. Mumu forty two says William McKinley. Hey. What was it, McKinley? I know nothing about McKinley. He was president during the height of the Gilded Age in the late eighteen hundreds. Ooh. <laughs> Amazing. Right? Just, You're a savant just, at this, Chris. I just love the fact. I've never, I <laughs> never knew you had this knowledge set. It's great. It's wonderful, actually. It's so funny. I love. I it wish so we, much. I wish we knew sooner. <laughs> right. I, this comes into play once a year, but you know what? It's worth it. Oh wait. So now this guy goes there. He's gonna go back here. At which point we loop back around. Hold up here. Then we need a ladder. Need a ladder. Oh, okay. Lauren Peabody says, "Kid president. <laughs> Kid president is my president." Respect that. That's uh, a good answer. Oh, and Realty Ohanzi says, uh, "President Grant's birth name was Hiram Ulysses Grant, or Hiram." Hiram. Hiram. I bet it's a Hiram. Hiram. I bet he was a Hiram. No wonder he changed it, because I, I could see people having trouble pronouncing that. And in and the day. You didn't have TV. People were reading it at best in the paper, it's and true. everyone's calling him a slightly different name. I don't you know. gotta, yeah, you gotta. I mean, <laughs> you say that, you say that, but at the same time, like 
People struggle to pronounce Barack Obama's name. That's true. So, but no, but I'm saying at least you, you have know. TV. He can say his own name in front of people. And I mean, be he like, can. It's Obama. But, but you would hope that people would be able to, you know, from that point, figure out what's going Like, I'm just saying. It's not just people reading the paper that's making it hard for, for everyone to know how to pronounce their name. <laughs> Sometimes all the tools are there and people still struggle. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. Humanity is a struggle bus. I <laughs> <laughs> is that is that the moral of today's episode? Humanity is a struggle bus. <laughs> um, and okay, so since we're including modern presidents, Titian uh, Gobert says Barack Obama. Hunter Bloodrose says Reagan. Um, and Robin Gray just says anarchy. That was not an op <laughs> that has not been elected yet. I'm sorry. <laughs> <coughs> not yet. <laughs> just, you just you wait, President Anna. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that's a cool. I love the the like fun non sign one. Right, so, right. This Ooh, is, this is cool. So this just plugs what? in a bat. So it's me taking a portal out to the outside world and. Huh, that's really interesting. So it's me taking a portal to the outside world, plugging it into my Game Boy, and charging. So I. Switching over they're, to Twitter. They're, they're, I feel like bring your best state. presidents to Twitter. I feel like there's a theory in here somewhere or something about like what's actually going on in this game because <laughs> you're actually navigating a very robust and very beautiful landscape right? through the realm of these signs. It's actually really interesting. Um, this is really cool. It's 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 gorgeous, and I'm really curious. Like, it looks like we're kind of in a post office. I haven't been paying too much attention to the background because I've been focused on all the. The all puzzles. the puzzles and things, but it's really interesting, um, and how it, and how this whole world connects together. And like, I don't really know what what exactly is. Okay, there we go. What exactly like we're navigating through? Like, what's the background here? But it's Thanks. really cool. It's really neat. I know. I not to not to break. Not to, not to take too much of a break from the presidents, but no. Hey, I had to flip over to Twitter. Blarg. <laughs> Blarg Enterprise. Blarg. And Hypo's Liquid Sound. Oh, oh delicious. Ooh. Good to the last drop. All right. All right. Go. Okay. Uh, um, just a very smart redneck on Twitter says, <laughs> Chester Allen Arthur. Wow. And like a zillion exclamation points. Chester wow. Allen. That's great. Wow. <laughs> Chester A. Good old Chesty. Chesty A. <laughs> if I go up here, I... oh, oh, we haven't hit this one yet. Max Raber one says Calvin Coolidge. Chris, facts about Coolidge. Uh, Calvin Coolidge was the president right before the Great Depression. Oh, uh, tough legacy. <laughs> All right. Well, the reason Harding gets a bad legacy, among other things, is because he was the president right at the beginning of the Great Depression. Ah. Teapot Dome, I'm telling you, Chris. <laughs> Teapot Dome. Teapot Dome, it's a thing. <laughs> Wait, is that right? Great Depression. Oh, Chris, are you, are you, are you, are you spreading false facts Harding. on our live stream? Chris. Are you, are you spreading fake Residency. news right now? Only true facts, Chris. Keep it to true facts. True, true facts about the presidents. <laughs> Call him Zay Frank. Zay Frank. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Let's try this again. Uh, let me go back. Yeah. <coughs> oh, you're, get, you're getting some shade from Twitter. At, Bas uh, at Basilisco Eve says, this looks like a fairly easy game. I'm sitting in my bed, eating popcorn and drinking beer, and Matt Pat is making it so complicated. Really? I think you're doing great. It's fine. It's fine. But I'm fine. You know. Uh, at Spoopy GT I'm Live always, says, I'm I love this. Keep giving us facts, please. Yeah. Welcome to GT Live, where we're going to tell you all the facts that you didn't think that you knew or that you didn't think you needed to know about the presidents. You're going to learn more today about the presidents than you did in your one year of American history There class. you go. At uh, Think Kimberly on Twitter oh, says, it. Edith Wilson, following the severe stroke of her husband, managed the office of the president and determined which communications and matters of state were important enough to bring to the attention of the bedridden president. Wow. Yeah, those ladies behind the scenes. We see you. First ladies, best ladies. <laughs> First ladies, best ladies. That's gonna bounce it up to here. 
or bounce it down. At, at dibs to win. I also like the reasoning that some people are giving. Like, if you have a reason for your favorite president, please feel free to share. At dibs to win says, I say Thomas Jefferson. This is because my whole class uh, started calling him the homie TJ. <laughs> and <laughs> and that's at, fair. That's fair. <laughs> And Nexi on Twitter says, Obama, because he had a nice forehead. <laughs> he did have a good forehead. Indeed. It's true. <laughs> Produced a lot of quality memes. Right. It's great. <laughs> the homie TJ. <laughs> <laughs> uh, at Susie Pru09 says, Teddy <coughs> Roosevelt is bully. <laughs> great. Uh, let's see. Oh, shoot, that one. Oh, poop. Did that one not open? No way. Is this oh. true, Chris? I need to fact check. We need Chris fact, presidential fact checker. At Jenny Ray says, Theodore Roosevelt is the only president to have a confirmed tattoo. Oh, I'm going to fact, I don't know. I'm Wait, who, who did, had the confirmed tattoo? Roosevelt. No, Teddy. Yeah. The Teddy Not only what, did he have oh, a Teddy bear. Roos. Teddy Roos. Teddy <laughs> Oh, man, that's pretty, that's pretty uh, legit. Right okay. there. That's, that's pretty exciting for him. Right. I'm happy, I'm happy for him. <laughs> oh, what can I do here? This is a new, this is a new tactic. There we go. Oh, we connect. Oh, we're connecting the power line. Oh, that's cool. We're connecting the power line from the outside world into the world of the game. Oh my. I know. That seems very impressive. It is. So here, the key drops. At Sarah Sequoia says, my favorite president is Leslie Nope. Aww. <laughs> Aww, Leslie Nope. What a terrible president she would make. <laughs> she's, such wow. a, she's such a lovely person, and she's way too caring. And that would, I think that would be a disaster. I think, I think the presidency would destroy her. <laughs> <laughs> Leslie, no. Well, wasn't a whole part of, wasn't a whole part of her late, late game story was about how when she got into positions of greater power, that she actually couldn't really handle oh, it. Oh yeah, it like like I thought I it if I remember her like she she started to corrupt her right. Not not corrupt her, but she started to really like. Her idealized kind of like way of governing ended up failing a lot of times because she like government's more complicated than what mm. she always envisioned it being and kind it, of her it can't always or be the Parks and Rec. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that that was kind of the, I think if I remember right, that was how those late seasons kind of ended up, wasn't it? Mm. Where well, it, yeah, I'd say that. Right, they yeah. kind of used like Ron Swanson would use his ability to make nothing happen in government. Yeah, in order to make stuff happen in government. <laughs> right, right, and so what? Like Ron was always trying to prove the point to her that like you don't have to like yeah. the inactivity was a lot of times making more progress happen than some of the stuff that she was trying to push through. That was an interesting. It's an. We should do a political. Oh shoot. We should do a political exploration of the world. Of uh, Parks and Rec. That would be fun. And I can confirm, Google is confirming that Theodore Roosevelt is the only president to have a tattoo that we know of. Wow. And it was a family crest on his chest. Wow, on his chest, bold. It wasn't just like a little ankle star. <laughs> 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 no, no, Stephanie, it wasn't the ankle star. It was not. He was known as the ankle star president. <laughs> <laughs> that is, I don't think that's a real fact. Uh, right, I think you Chris, might have I think, made that I think, part I think, you're, I think you're abusing your position of trust right now. Uh, I, 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 I don't think, I don't think I can believe your facts anymore, Chris. <laughs> right, here we go, let's see. So. Oh, at 1938, chat legend says, tell Chris that Herbert Hoover was the president and at the start of the depression, Herbert he was Hoover. also the only president from Iowa. Oh, Who was Harding? You really ought to give Iowa a try. I thought, right? I thought there was another one. Those Midwestern states actually produce a lot of presidents. We produce a lot of presidents. Yeah. That is the one thing that I was taught in Ohio, like to be real proud of, is the amount of presidents that come out of us. High volume presidents. Yeah, I mean, we're just born leaders in the Midwest. <laughs> or something. Not 100% sure what it is. Right? Or something. <laughs> or something. Not, not it's been a minute. quite clear. If I can grow this field of corn, wow. I can govern this country. Hey, Stephanie, it's soybean. <laughs> it's soybean. Thank you very much. I, I think I think you're being uh, I think you're being dismissive of us Ohio presidents. I don't. Th no, not at all. Not at all. <laughs> 
Lincoln was Indiana? Yes. I thought he was Illinois. Uh, Illinois, that's it. Yeah. No, yeah, Illinois is land of Lincoln. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There we go. I got the little generator thing. Generator tubey. Generator tubey goes. <laughs> no. Does it go there? Where's generator tubey go? Uh, oh, it connects to the spool. Then does it go? Oh, I need a box. That's what it is. Uh, this way? Let's see. See, now we're getting into the multi. Okay, here. What do we got here? So this one. Down here. Over here. This is a really cool puzzle game, by the way. We're not talking much about it because we're talking a lot about presidents, but it's worth calling out. It is a legitimately very cool game. So I just, I want credit where credit's due. Tis a good one. Okay, let's see. If I'm going through here, that means I'm probably going to need to go here, maybe up to there, down to here, which then activates that guy. So then I go up again. I go down here. I can swing this. Now this guy goes... This door goes back to... Wait, is this true? Hold here. on. Uh, who is this? At Rowlover on Twitter says, my favorite is James Buchanan because he's the only gay president. Is that, is that r historical rumor or is that fact? There's no way that is confirmed. I don't I think that, say, would, I don't be think that would ever be confirmed. Yeah. Oh, there's a, there's a beam there. I see what the problem is. Okay. So there's a beam there. Dun, dun. Really? That would be, I mean. Right? I, I don't think there's any way that you could actually know that in hindsight, unless there was some sort of journal or something. Um, okay, there. At Ukami Hime says, James Madison loved ice cream so much, he built an ice house on his estate to enjoy it all summer. That's, that's awesome. That's legit. That might be my present. I respect that. <laughs> okay, this goes up and down. Okay, so we need oh, this down. So Buchanan apparently in, I'm reading, I'm, I'm skimming a Washington Post article right now, but apparently he had friends who had it somewhere down that he was in fact gay. He is also known as the only bachelor president of the United States. No really? way! That's fascinating. Huh. That's really interesting. That's really interesting. Hmm. So I, f hmm, what do I need? So I'm missing something. I okay. need, so the key's down there. Keys down there. I need the block, and I get the block by getting the key, and then going through a what door? I mean, technically that's the door that I need. Hmm. <coughs> what am I doing wrong here? Elevator. What's gonna block the laser beam? This thing blocks the laser beam. <coughs> hmm. Uh... This goes down. Right. This Thanks. goes up and down. Oh, maybe the key. Maybe the key can block the laser beam. Oh. Oh, there push we it go. over a little bit. Yeah. Just, just bloop, bloop. There, there we go. go. Maybe the key will block the laser beam. Maybe. Try it. Yeah. Yes! Hey, okay, that's cool. a new one. Yes. That's a new mechanic. Okay, here. Nito. Up on up. key. Up. Oh, boy. Apparently not up on key. Cool. Turn off laser beam. Sweet. Grab this. Pop through. One. Over, yes. And back. There we go. Ooh, scoochy, scoochy. Scooch your pooch. There okay, we so go. now I got this guy. This goes up here. Boom. Now we need to turn on the power with the battery. So we need the third one right here. Jeez, right, this, nice this one is this one's yeah, this complicated. Is a, this is a big multi one. Okay, ooh, jeez. All right, so oh, this one goes it's to the right. Yeah, this is just a maze. Right, I was gonna say this is just putting pieces together. Yeah, this one goes here, which goes up to. This is gonna be too short. Up to here, maybe. Right, this is interesting. Okay, so here. You always gotta keep falling down. Okay, so this guy goes here to here. Then you fall down, you go up to here, you fall down, you go left to 
There. Hey, Chris. Bottom one. Yeah. <coughs> well, we got two that kind of do the same thing. Uh, so here. Here. Yes. Have you ever seen Fast Times at Ridgemont High? You know, I haven't. It's been on the list for years, and I keep putting it off. So you that's, should watch it so you can talk about it with us, not because it's great. That's that's <laughs> actually that's actually how we have been doing it too. And this weekend we watched yeah. it okay. for the first time because it's one of cause this it's is one something of those we should like, all talk about as a GT Live fam. Have you seen this movie? Because we just saw it for the very first time this weekend. And, and it's one of those 80s I was classics. Just, I was just now this weekend old enough to see it. <laughs> <laughs> that is Put very, it that way. That is very accurate. If you are younger in the audience, maybe wait a few years. And by a few, I mean too like a me maybe like I'm several still decades. Too, I'm still too young to see it. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. still, still definitely too young to see that movie. I, so... We found we thought this movie was fascinating, and we like wanna. Well, um, fascinating and so far, like we didn't like it. Uh, I, even though it's like one of those like classics of '80s cinema or whatever, um, it is not particularly funny. It is pretty raunchy. Like a lot of '80s comedies are pretty raunchy, but the the thing about this one was like the sensitivities to us in 2020 are very different and and the issues that we feel like how we feel about certain issues and stuff are very different from where yeah. they were so when and it was the, released that's the interesting thing in 1983 it. it was a comedy and if you watch it now i i mean i'm sure there are lots of people who would still find it very funny but i look at it and i'm like oh no everything in this movie is like a disaster <laughs> it's actually and it's like it is, it's every it's not it's every element fun it's it's, it's like it's just, to me, it was a stressful movie funny. rather than like, yeah. oh, this is this is a coming of age. It's like, oh, this these like these kids are scarred for life. Like, th I can't believe this is like they're doing these things. Like, it was awful, and it was it wasn't funny. You didn't even root for the kids. Like, they weren't even good people. It's, it was it was bizarre. It was, it's, it was crazy. It's an interesting movie. It's it's one of those <laughs> ones that again like shows. No one's ever seen it. Yeah, I, yeah. I figured not. Okay. And, we won't, we, like, oh wait, okay, except for uh, Vincent Fresco said, Fast Times at Ridgemont High was awesome. I loved the movie. So it was, it was, and I think still is, like a cult, like it has a massive cult following and it had this huge, huge cultural impact when it came out in 1983. Um, I, it's not for me. But <laughs> well, and, and and that's the thing, but right? Like, it's, it they loved it. They loved it. It was a cultural icon because, like, back then, it was very like it was a very cool thing to like like fight against authority and things like that. And this movie has a lot of like it has one character who's just yeah. like the embodiment of like fighting against authority and and to like a nerds like us and sensibilities. It's like. Oh wow, that's really disrespectful or mean, but like there, this guy was literally a yeah. cultural icon who helped shape a bunch of other stuff, you know? Well, we've, so we watched the movie and we read all these articles afterwards. We read so much about the. We, we read so of it. much about how important it was, and I think like we appreciate all of that, but we also read articles about how like everything that was funny in 1983 is like not funny to to people, like young people now. Yeah, there's like, like a series young, of jokes. Young people about now don't actually, like, Drug use is way down for like teens and young people now, like like hard, strong drug use, like dangerous drug use. Um, and so like you see people doing a lot of that in this movie. And so it was funny in 1983 and now it's like, oh, why, like, why would you do that? That's so dumb. <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's partly that, it's also partly, huh, this is interesting. It's, it's, He's well. talking about Spicoli, says David Fitzpatrick. Yeah, yes. yeah. Um, yeah, there's this kid that like embodies like all this like rage against the machine, like rebel, all this stuff. And today he comes off as just kind of like, dude, what are you doing with your life, man? Well, it, but it's also like um, I'm trying to think. Like there's there's a sequence where it's it's joking about like a football player who's suffered from like a lot of head concussions, and so he's a little yeah. bit like slower, and, and then him tackling be... a bunch of other kids. And like breaking their bones and this and that. And, and sending them to the hospital. And you're like, okay, like it starts out as like, oh, that's kind of funny. But then it goes on and on and it's really violent. And it shows how these kids are like dying from football injuries. And you're like, no, that's a real thing. People like, <laughs> people 
people have like terrible lifelong injuries from football. That's not funny. <laughs> like that's not okay. Yeah, it was, it was an interesting one. Well, like. That's wild. That sounds it's, really cool from just like a No, no, you should totally sport. watch it, but it's, don't watch it until you're very old. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> one serious. it is. It's one it's one of those movies like and again, like Steph and I try to expose ourselves to a lot of media yeah. that we like, that we gravitate towards, but also stuff that we don't like or don't necessarily gravitate towards. Yeah. Just so we can educate ourselves about what it is, what made it popular, yeah, why, why it's, it's so important. important. Yeah. And, and this was one that I, we've had on our watch list forever, and it, we, it took us so long to watch it for exactly the same reason that Chris mentioned, which is like, it's, it's oh, not up our alley. It's Fast Times at Ridgemont High. We it's knew, an old movie. Yeah, it's an old 80s movie, 82. 80, but it's, it, but yeah. we knew that it's, it's kind of raunchy, there's a lot of like drugs and sex and stuff, and like, we're like not, we're, that's not the movies that we like to watch. But we're like, you know what? It's just like we not a lot of movies that are out there. A lot of those movies aren't considered like brand safe by today's standards. So they, like, it would be hard, for, I think, for this to like make it out of a studio today. Well, it, well, and the funny, the funny, and the, here's the thing, right? Before we hop back to the game or whatever, the fascinating thing about it was it was hard to make it out of the studio back in the day. So yeah. we read all about the cultural impact of this thing and why it mattered. And Universal Studios, who produced it, was scared really to release it to wider audiences because it was a comedy but it was a little bit darker than other ones a little bit more serious than a lot of the other like raunchy teen comedies that were out at the time and so they they did it a narrow release but because it was so true to life and authentic and you had this character named Spicoli who was like very anti-authoritarian and you had all these like very real issues that kids were dealing with in the day yeah. like it, it spread like wildfire and word took off but Universal, because they were scared of it, had throttled how wide of a release it had gotten. It didn't go really anywhere. Yeah. And it was really the first movie that took off as a cult hit because of home release. Like yeah. VHS, VHS tapes. It's one of the first tapes. it's one of the first ever instances to have huge cultural appeal on VHS. And that's why like so many people who were, were born and raised in that era have a copy of it yeah. because that and was the way that it. you watched it and shared it and talked about it. Yeah. And it's really and pioneered that whole idea is, of at home popularity. Yeah. And the thing is all the stuff that happens in that movie totally happens in high schools now. Like absolutely hundred percent. And it, it's like a very real kind of look at what teenagers actually do not like the brand safe version of what teenagers actually do but it's it's pretty intense i have to say it was an intense movie yeah it wasn't and it wasn't like for for me it wasn't like oh my gosh this is so funny it was more like oh wow that's that's a bummer <laughs> <laughs> tis a bummer these are all broken now so these are broken because i need to do it then first hold up okay Right, these are broken. Why is this one broken? Why are we broken? What is the movie? Everyone's asking. Oh, now everyone's just gonna go watch this movie. Guys, it's I'm not. You, it's not that great. Only, it's fine. only watch it if you are old enough. <laughs> yeah. You, you gotta be old. You gotta be older. <laughs> like However said, old you are, you probably should be older. Like I said, uh, yeah, be, be older. <laughs> I don't know. Um, um, I, have you seen like? Animal House or Rocky Horror Picture Show or some like of the other cult classic movies from like the oldie days, then you're probably fine. Um, <laughs> I do this and then I go this way, and then I connect this way maybe. Um, yeah, it's 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 just it's just mature, right? At Magically, Haley says a actually expresses my feelings pretty well. A lot of '80s movies just aren't my cup of tea. They're always offish, you know. But I assume that's just the times. Yeah, I actually feel the same way about a lot of movies from that movie. Just off. There's something like there's just something that I don't. They're not my favorite. Yeah, they're not my favorite. And we know people who love '80s movies. Nothing against them at all. It's oh yeah, all no. Just, it's all just opinion. It's all just like what what you. It's just like. it's just not our sensibility. Like in general, when it comes to like. Stoner comedies and stuff, which are, are really popular these days. Where I like I like comedies that are a little bit more about like the writing rather than like slapsticky kind of humor and things like that. If I'm going for like slapsticky kind of stuff, then I I just go with like a kids movie. I was gonna say you just go with an animated movie. Yeah, I would just go animated at that point. So it is it's it's it is always interesting to go back and revisit older movies yeah. to see how sensibilities have changed and how cultural tastes evolve. Yeah. Because, um, yeah, you don't really see movies like this anymore. And it was it was, it was was interesting. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we, we are I, glad that we watched it. We would not watch it again. You know, it's interesting. There's a lot of stuff like this. Um, 
at Lady Ephelion on Twitter is pointing out Dazed and Confused is actually that's at the another same level. Big one. That's yeah, from that's from the 70s. That's like she uh, is saying that it's like even worse than, <laughs> or than Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Yeah. And then actually, you know, it's that's interesting. interesting. Brooke B. Uh, 1271 on Twitter also says, um, something I think about a lot is how we praise Friends as an amazing show, but when you look back, it was an incredibly misogynistic show. <laughs> the, like, the, um, like there's a, there are a lot of things that have changed just in the last like 20 or 30 years where we're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that was on TV back then. It is, yeah. The sensibilities have changed, have changed a lot. Have changed a lot. Really interesting. Yeah. Uh, here, we're going to go back up to here. So, okay, this connects over here. This guy At Sarah, it says, I watched Grease for the first time when I was seven. Grease, Grease is lovely. It's, <laughs> Grease is also, it's, I mean. It's, it's, everything is problematic at some level, but like. <laughs> <everything>. <laughs> I probably also watched Grease for the first time when I was seven. I think all the adult themes just went over my head. Oh, I just yeah. didn't know it. I just, I, mean, I didn't the, even pick up on them. That's the thing about Grease, I think. <laughs> At Zero D Longitude says, I love 80s shows and movies, but the action comedy ones with cars and shiny things. <laughs> I, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's right. Good. Okay, this guy's got to actually go away. So this one needs to go here. This has to be the exit. Okay, so he's <laughs> up there. He goes over, sorry. Down to here. We hop down. We cross over into here. Here. Do we have the key at that point? We don't have the key at that point. So we need the key here. This is You're doing great. Thanks. That's sweet of you. No, I think you're making oh it seems like we're making a lot of progress. I don't know I don't know how big the game is. How big is the game, Chris? Uh, it's pretty big. I was gonna say it seems like it it seems like there's a lot of levels because there's you're connecting a bunch of batteries um uh, in in that Game Boy section, so we've got two out of the like six batteries or whatever, mm. so we still have a good amount left. <laughs> At Ondine Rockwell on Twitter says, "You guys should be talking about how many how many Academy Awards Parasite won. It's amazing. Parasite it is. is amazing. It's really good. Definitely see it. Parasite so good. Comes highly recommended. Yeah. We can absolutely talk about that. So good. So glad that a foreign film won. And it was it, the thing is like uh, a lot of a lot of flack towards the the Academy Awards in general, like. Whether Diversity, it's representation, and this and that. yeah, like, all that stuff. And, and a lot of it's fair. This year, I think, is the first year in a long, 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 long time that like all the best picture nominees were really good. And I really liked worth all watching. of them because we for all, the most part they we were usually, all really good. We usually try to see all of the best picture nominees so we at least know what's up for what's up for the award and. Most of the time, if we're being real, we probably like half of them. Yeah. And then the other half, we're like slogging through, or we're like, oh my gosh, this is, it's just not interesting or something. Yeah, but this year. This year, for us, they were all good. They were we and, really liked all of them. And they were really, ooh, this is fun. And they were really diverse, too. I think yeah. that was the thing Lots that I liked Lots of different the genres. Most, was, yeah, you had like a foreign film that, in Parasite, that was, pretty dark and covered some really interesting territory. You had, um, you had like the Ode to Hollywood with, uh, the ta with Tarantino, um, which was cool. Yeah. Uh, you had, uh, you had Joker, which was a really good, like dark comic book movie, which is just completely unusual. Yeah. Oh, come um, on. Come on. Little Women should have won more. That's the little key. Women, oh my gosh! Little right? Women should have won it more. It should have I agree. won more. It was so good. We liked it so yeah, much. Yeah, Little Women was great. Actually. Oh my gosh! Little Women was a bit underappreciated. Yeah. Um, which was a shame because it was a really great movie. Um, especially in the acting department, the acting was phenomenal. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it was so good. Amy was so good, and she's usually not my favorite character. Um, GT Live Rocks My Socks on Twitter says, I really love The Breakfast Club. It's raunchy on some levels, but I remember having to watch it in health class, and they took out the scene where they're all smoking in the library. <laughs> really good movie, though. <laughs> I, You know what? I think it's super interesting to watch those scenes so you know how the times have changed. It doesn't, just because you see one person smoking in a movie doesn't mean you're going to go out and smoke. Wait, are you sure, <laughs> Stephanie? Are you sure? I know, I know. It's crazy. Crazy I thought. I believe you. Um, Breakfast Club is pretty mild. But again, and, and this goes again to the interesting impl impact of Fast Times, right? Is, oh shoot, is the fact that... Um, we even watched a version with like a scene taken out. Fast Times had, uh, Fast Times at Ridgemont High, again, was 
one of those ones that because going back to that story about how Universal kind of missed the boat on it, and they had all these like talks about like how did we not understand that this would be as big of a movie as it was? We missed the boat here. How do we correct this in the future? That in turn got them to green light um, a lot of those Breakfast Club, uh, Sixteen Candles. Yeah, that's movies. where they all came. So from. it like. Again, the cultural impact of this one movie really brought about the whole, like, teenage d- teenagers dealing with real issues in high school, yeah. being real and connecting with each other and stuff. Like, a lot of that was born out of the, the Fast Times thing. Yeah. It's really, again, just a really fascinating story, I think. And while we're talking about the movies and the Oscars and stuff in particular, yeah. at Jay Reggie um, on Twitter says, the Oscars should be called the Artsies. They, <laughs> they never have good films nominated. So if you want to learn about that, actually, it's um, Wisecrack has an awesome video about the history of the Oscars and how it started out, and basically how it started out to just like bribe actors into taking better, like into taking lower wages and stuff by just giving them <laughs> little awards at the end of the year and how there used to be a separate Oscar for most artistic or something and then most, most commercial, and then best, like best. Best commercial movie and best... Artsy movie, but they combined best, them yeah, because film. everyone was still offended if, if they did it that way. Well, yeah, because then it implies that artsy films can't be... Or that commercial films can't be, can't be the films. best films. Yeah, like it it it, it, nas- it necessarily says that like, hey, a commercially successful film cannot be... A, a best picture, yeah. and likewise, a uh, an artsy film can't be a commercially successful one. So yeah. it, it really kind of shortchanges all parts of the spectrum, and so that's why they wanted people to change it. Yeah. But it was something that they thought about bringing back in for this year's Oscars, and then people got bored. Twenty nineteen. People were like, Oscars, no. It, so. <laughs> yeah. So it yeah, and it used to be separated out that way, but. Wisecrack, the history of the Oscars, it's so good. It's a great video. It's, uh, you have to like, you can't multitask really while you're <laughs> while you're listening to it or watching it because it does, like there is a lot to, in there to unpack and you have to like pay attention, um, but it's really good. And you're and at the end you're like, what? The Oscars is just a sham. Yeah. <laughs> oh well. Okay, let's see. Maybe everybody else knew already and I didn't. <laughs> Chris knew. Chris knows all, apparently. Yeah. Chris Chris knows everything. Yeah, the Oscars were president in the uh, 50s. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Chris. You don't say, Chris. That's amazing. <laughs> okay, so wait. So what do I need to do here? I need to do... I need a way to transition... Okay, i got to really figure out how this works. So I need a way to transition over to there so right now i'm here the keys up hmm. Ooh, gt mania says klaus klaus should have won over toy story 100 it was so 100%. great story wise and beautifully animated too we loved klaus we thought it was so good it's on netflix if you haven't seen it we would i, I would agree with that yeah toy story 4 was good but right but klaus was really good like it, it was a great movie mm-hmm. um so I'm, so I'm stuck over here, which means, here, let's reset this one. Um, where is this? So what do I gotta do? So I'm stuck on this side. I need to go down this ladder to get to this side. So now that I'm on that side, I can layer on, can I layer this on top of these? I still don't quite understand how the layering mechanic works. Ooh. Here, go down here, okay. and go through to this guy. Yeah. I should be able to. Right now I'm here. And now this guy should be able to connect to. Oh boy. Hold on. Now they want this. Side. Okay, now I can move. I'm here, which means I can't jump up and get there, so that's the problem. Uh. Huh. Nope, that has to go down there, never mind. I'm on this side. Oh, I can drop this there. I can drop this onto here. Can I? Oh, no, I gotta... Is that how this works? Where are you headed? There we go. Okay, so now that connected to there. Okay. So now this door connects to here. 
so you should be able to go and get it. Oh, should I need the key though? Yeah, Boop. exactly. Mm, okay. So if I don't. Oh. Uh, shouldn't you be able to go through the left hand, the door that's on the left hand side? Well, uh, oh, maybe not. So no one. <laughs> ah, hold up. Yeah, right? I need, I need to reset this one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this door absolutely has to connect to there. Always. Uh, this ladder. How am I getting How up? are you getting to How the key? How do I get up to that key? Right? That's the question. Because there's no ladder that's going to drop me down into the key. And even if I overlay this. I was gonna say, I don't think that's gonna help. Right? It doesn't seem like it's gonna help. Yeah, how do you get up there? How do you get up there? Right? How do you get Shimmy up, up those little arrows. Is there another. Is Can there you go down the ladder? Is there something from a previous puzzle that I need? It doesn't seem like I should. No. They haven't worked that way yet. So, what am I doing wrong? Can you. If you're coming down that ladder, can you hop off and get the key? If I'm shimmying down that ladder... The ladder in the middle. The, it has to do with... It has to do with this middle piece. Okay. Because this middle piece is just... At, like, why would I ever need to be on this side, I feel like. Right? But how am I getting to the key? You need to be on that side so you can drop... No, he doesn't drop you into the key. Yeah, the, there's no, like... Ah! And, and because there's a bar, like on one hand, I'm like, oh, I just cross over by laying this side over here and this side over there, where they're kind of off center from each yeah. other. I don't think that would work. What am I doing wrong here? Okay, so I go down the ladder and I can go up on either side. Right, there's nowhere to like, like there's no connection point. Right? Hmm. Can't so if I go down the ladder, and then I'm in the door, and then the door can drop me. Oh, 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 oh. Maybe, maybe I had the right idea, but I was thinking horizontally, and I, I need it vertically. That's what it is. That's what it is. I was, I was thinking the wrong way. I was thinking horizontally, and it needs to be vertical. So I drop down into here. So now I'm okay. in this one. So now this one gets layered on top here. I'm oh, sure. oh, you there just, it is. You just hop out. Yeah. Oh, so now it's there. It's so is. much easier than we thought. That's okay. interesting. Fine, fine. Uh, I may have just moved it though because because now I can't reshift where the ladder is. Oh no. Lift I, the background I, door I, higher. What, says Hot Street yeah, 164 on Twitter. Good job, Twitter. Twitter new. So now we're just gonna drop this guy on here. There we go. I just didn't realize that. Yeah, there it is. That's the door. So now here. At uh, Ondine Rockwell says, uh, does anybody notice that the bags in the coffee shop say Butts Coffee? I did notice yep. the butts. Definitely noticed the Very butts. Very nice. At Stu Not, oh, so going back to 80s movies briefly, yep. at Stu Not says, Ferris Bueller holds up. I agree, actually. Ferris Bueller was one of my favorite movies for a long time. I love that one. Ferris Bueller does hold up. That's Broderick. Great guy. Right. Uh, now this guy dropped over here. There we go. Oh, that's not enough. Hold up. There we go. Now it drops in. There. Now we got the key. There it is. Right. Ferris Bueller holds up. Yeah. <coughs> I'm trying to think. Like, I don't know. I think there are definitely uh, plenty of '80s movies that still absolutely. Oh, their own. sure. Uh, I'm assuming. Oh, wait. That's the thing that we need to activate. Okay. What does this portal thing do? I don't know what this does. Oh, is that the battery? Hmm. Over. Up here. And this one goes down. Down here. Nope. Definitely can't do anything there. I'll switch over to the chat again. Down in the sewer. Then this is going down here. Okay. Is this just a thing that I plug into the device? 
I know what this does here. Oh, Ooh, okay. Yes, that is fucking big. Do we need more of them? Well, we need more batteries and stuff connecting it, so we need the... Right. The, we need the spool of wire over here. Okay. Which is gonna be this guy. Mm. We have to push him. He goes through... Ooh, hello. Whoa! Didn't know that there were train tracks that went outside our door. Right? I didn't either. That's shocking. Oh, okay. Yeah, this cityscape in the background is so fascinating. Right? The background graphics for this are incredible. Right? Oh, shoot. Oh, man. Splatter. Whoopsie. Whoops. There we go. Okay. Now, can I push you both? I was yes, going to say, I think you just push them. Yay! Key. Woo! Push, push, push. <laughs> Good. Okay, there. Open up. Oops. Nice. Yes! Back. That one isn't bad. I like your character's little mo movements in this game. They're very satisfying. Right? They're it's, really it, nice. It's just, it's visually a very satisfying game. Okay, so this is gonna be here. We're gonna push this guy to push. Ooh, hello. Ooh, okay. Oh, no, that's fine. Ooh. Here we go. Put this guy there. There it is. So now we drop it all the way up. Turn that off. Down. That's bad. Right. I feel like all the signs in the background are meaningful, or like our little Easter egg. Right. That's that's the thing I keep wondering is yeah, what is the what is the what thing does everything about, mean? Yeah, what's it all mean? Okay. So this we're gonna need to drop me in here. Right there it is. Yep. See, now that we know what that drop mechanic is, that makes all the difference in the world. So now we can climb. Whoops, now we can climb back. Okay. Up and then drop to another one. Oops, okay, okay. Boop. This. This is a great game. Right? This Sorry, is this so is, this fun. Is, this is really fun. Chris, you knew about this all along? Chris was hiding yeah. From us. Jason actually has been wanting to play this game for literal years and has. Wait, really? It's existed yeah, for years? It's, really? Because the demo came out a, a while ago and I guess it's just been in development all this time. Wow. Really? Oh, cool. Oh, Jason, good one. Look at that. I mean, you know. Jason's like, someone said my name. <laughs> oh, I need to activate this one. Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, cool. Oh, that's so neat. What's that? <laughs> really? You think I made it to the third level? Thanks, buddy. <laughs> you're the best. Jeez. You're the best, Jason. Thanks so much. Right. You're you're such a gem. Thanks, Jason. Find, you find the totems? I found all the totems, Jason. Don't yep. worry. We're all good. We're so all, many totems. We're all we're sufficiently totemed up. We're toting it. Da da ba ba ba. We're toting it. Okay, here. Oh, we gotta drop this guy. And then we got this here. Okay, there. Check the wire. That opened up that gate. What's down? That's upward to the next level, though. Hold up, what's over here? Is there really something? I feel like there's a secret down here. Ooh, is there? Oh, in the manhole cover? <gasps> what? Well, it doesn't look like much of a bonus. No, it's another. Huh. Weird. Right, this feels like there's, maybe we come back to this at a certain point? Maybe. This isn't a, this isn't the level that we did, is it? No, I don't think so. I don't think so either. Huh, that's interesting. Weird. I wonder what that is. It does feel like it could be like opening up a shortcut or something like that. Or some, right, it feels like it's opening up something. Cause yeah, this is just the exit to the next level then. Hmm. Cause we did that whole section. Good for you. Look, huh. I think we're, we're cruising. We are cru I feel like we're making a lot of good progress. Right? Uh, come back. Nope. The animations are good. It seems like the controls are really tight. The puzzles are all logical. It seems like the game teaches you really well as you go. This is really neat. Yeah, right. I say that in the next, the next room we get to will be like an, an impossible solve. And I'll be like, I hate this game. <laughs> <laughs> Seven, four, eight. Here we go. Boop. Ooh! Dude, I just transitioned to something else. Mm. I think you did great, kid. I know, I know, but there was another door that I could have explored. It's okay. 
There were so many doors, Stephanie. What if there was a totem there? What if I missed the totem? Are you a completionist? Yes. Yes. You know that. <laughs> How are we doing time-wise? Because that actually is it like we've just finished a big chunk. I mean, we're a little bit on the early side, but it's it's fine if this is a good cut. Like, I mean, that was a good, good stopping well, place. Well, here, if we got if we got another fifteen minutes, let's go for it. All right, go for it, dude. Let's keep going then. This this reminds me a bit of a game that I've been wanting to play. Oh, what's that? Called The Witness. It's another like oh, yeah. world puzzle game. Yep. Ooh, hey. -o. There we go. Block. Oh no, oh, no. This no. totem. Okay. Ooh. No, too, nope. Oh jeez. No, I, I could have done it too. Shoot, my bad. That's me just being slow. Slow man. Slow man was too slow. I also forgot that I can just drop. Oh yeah, that's right. Duh. And then Dumb just hang man. up there. That was much easier than I gave credit. Woo! That's like the fourth level where it's like, oh, easy solution. Slow that we were trying man. To overcomplicate. Slow man. Hey, here we go. Ooh, achievement. Right, get all sorts of achievements. Okay, so here's. I really like the um, <laughs> the continual motif of the like '80s Game Boy. Right. Ni the... '90s Game Boy. Well, the Game Boy is what unlocks everything. So. Right, I know. So this is gonna I be like I thing. like that it revolves around that. Boop. Boop, bloop, 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 bloop. Oh hey, who's our buddy? Statue. Statue man. It's Taft. No. It's ta ta <laughs> Taft. Taft. What are you doing here, Taft? It took a bunch of people to get Taft out of a bathtub. That was not Taft. That guy was a little svelte for Taft. Wow. It wasn't yeah. because Taft was overweight. He just really didn't want to get out. <laughs> I was just, no, no, you can't make me. I don't well, want to see the there. Senate. <laughs> I see. So there's a laser there. So we need to go. Where can we go? So we're going here. Oh, I see. OK, so we need to actually plan it this way. So we need to. As I'm dropping, I need to land in this one. That's what it is. Hmm. So it's here. Oh wow. Okay. Right? Is this is this right? You could put it right above. So you go from one to the other to the other. That's one. Yeah. Yeah. So oh, it, so it's a sequence. Ayo. Okay. So you really need to start at the. So you have to have everything planned out. Okay, yeah. So this one then goes here, which then is gonna go. Exit door, but then we'll deal with that. Okay. Okay, so this. Oops. Uh, okay, here. Yeah, okay. Drop. Oops. Drop. There we go. Bloop. There we go. Sweet. So now we're safe at the bottom. That's fun. That is. That was really that cool. That was satisfying. That was very satisfying. Okay, here. Now we're back over here. We're going to jump up through. This guy, mm -hmm. this guy, and then you can't really move him. Can I move you? Can't, uh, no, can't really move you. Mm -hmm. Can I move you? I can move you, but you're also stuck there. Okay. So this one's gonna have to be. Whoa! Oh, that was cool. Right. That was so neat. It's really cool. Woo! All right. Super fun. And now we're done with that one. Yeah. Cool. Great. That was super yes. fun. Yes. This is great. <laughs> Chris, you. Chris. You, you, you. Chris. I'm looking oh. Oh, oh, wait, wait. Oh. Camera's out. Wow, Chris. Wow, Chris, we lost everything. Geez, man. man. Man, your, your, <laughs> your maps go off. You're just checked out, aren't you, Falling buddy? Falling apart. It's fine. I get it. Just checking out Chris early. Is like whatever. It's like peace what? out, you guys. Jeez, I'm Chris. I'm Chris. I'm done. I'm just gonna mosey toward the camera. Maybe I'll replace the battery for you. Maybe I won't. I'm Chris. <laughs> that's is that accurate? That's a, that Did is. I, get I think that's actually. Yeah. Him. Are we on? I really Ready? felt his. Presence. Hey, there we are. I really felt that stuff. Did that you? felt very real to me. <laughs> well, he was he was moseying. You were moseying. 
There, there wasn't a whole sense of rush. I will, I will give it that. There was, there was li relatively little rush. I was once told on set by an AD, you never want to run. Is that so? Yeah, because it is a safety hazard, and it also mm. looks like something is wrong. Ooh, that's interesting. You never want the talent to think something is wrong. Yeah, so when the could, talent sees Could the talent <laughs> tell that the that yeah, the so. camera turned off? Chris, oh, Chris I just to wanted you to think it wasn't a problem. Yeah, I was going to say, so, <laughs> so when the talent notices that, hey, the, uh, the camera's off on this live event that we're doing, <laughs> yeah, smack him around, Jason. Not, yeah, should the right. talent not be made aware of that it's one? It's very flawed logic to be like, because then somebody will think something's wrong, except something is wrong. Yeah, exactly, and right? And people it. are aware that something, like when people are aware that something's wrong, you might want to make them aware that that's wrong in the first place. Okay. I disagree. So, <laughs> well, well, man. We'll poo on you. Apologize to the audience. Nothing was wrong. <laughs> I apologize for this near perfection. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this near perfection. Wow, Chris. So I got to be able to get to the light bulb. Shoot. Hmm. Shoot, I've already used all these. And we got to bring the light bulb back. Okay, so let's just. De Should have quit while you were ahead. Should have disconnected. Okay, hold up. We got time. Right, we got time to solve it. Okay, so out. here, so all of this went right. We solved it the first time, but now it's more we gotta find a way around to that door. Okay, so here, we're gonna go through here. It's gonna connect through. The problem is the right, this door, I feel like, hmm. Hmm. The ladders are. Right, that ladder goes down. That ladder climbs up, but we also need the block to end up. It's interesting because we need the block say, to end up to where. Where do we need the block to go? I mean, so we need the block the to end up to where it is, but at the same time, so let's see. Because we need the block to end up there. Like th that's the trick: is the block needs to end up in like two different locations. Because it needs to end up hmm. here, and then it's gonna launch it up. Go back this way. Oh, wait. Boop. Right, come up there. Right, and that launches the block. Okay. But the problem is, we need the block to actually end up where the light bulb is. Down there. Mm -hmm. hmm. Okay, so let's here. Let's. What? Oh, what if we just went back up the? You need the block. The block can only slide. You can't carry the block up the ladders. That's the problem. So the block has to enter through this Oh, the block door. can enter there. Um, so the block goes from, say, like, here, we're just, let's just reset. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. So the block has to go from left to the only right door. And it doesn't make sense to me. What? Oh, maybe it does make sense to put it here. Okay, so if I go and grab the block from there, and I push, push it back it over. Down. Yeah, so here. Can you push it down? Yeah. So oh, I guess it will fit. Let's see, it should fit. Uh, although, does the laser <laughs> eat it up on the other end there? No, it won't. It will block the laser. There. So now... Oh, and then you pull it from the other side. So now ladder-wise, we need one of these ladders to connect here. There we go. And then we just come up, push it up, pull it onto this the This one needs the to thing. come over here. Uh, the problem is still... how do you get it up there? Okay, here, here. Oh no, that should be fine. This is this is it. Yeah. Here, here. I think this will do it. I think this does it. Here, hold up. Second ladder goes up to there. Yep. Third ladder. Goes up to here, which Perfect. then crosses over. Yas. Oh wait. Oh need wait. To down there. Yeah, I need to do this. I need to push this one over. Yep. There you go. This is it. Pull this baby. There. Oh, no, you can you can pull it all the way in, can't you? No, 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 because, oh, oh, yeah, yeah you're yeah, right. You I need pull to pull it, it in, and then I need to launch it. Yeah. You're right. There you go. There you go. Yes! I'm going to put you down, because now I need you back over here. Beep, 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 beep. Grab you. Right. Up we go. Yeah. Through the door. Launch. Drop Perfect. 
Yeah, you'll come with me. Great. Yes! No, you're both caught on the door. Come okay. on. Get out of here. Get over there. Box. Box. And box. Oh my gosh. Is there a game where we don't stack boxes to jump on? <laughs> Every game is, is game? just a box stacking simulator. Come on. That is the one thing that come we've learned. Come on. Every single game will have you stacking boxes. Where does the light bulb go, do you think? Hmm. Hmm. Right, we got a box, and we got a light bulb. What do you think? Hmm. hmm. I don't know. I'm not sure, but now we have a light bulb. Okay, there it is. Ta-da! So now we gotta get the school. Right. You have five minutes to get the school. You have five minutes to get the school. Ooh, nice. Come on. Ooh. That looks bad. Ooh, Yay! Yay! All right, all right. Simple Doing platforming. It. Okay. <clears throat> drop mechanic. Okay, so we're gonna drop this guy into. What do we need to turn on and off? I feel like I need to drop him onto the ladder for some reason, but I don't know why. Honestly, let's see, okay. Well, I to, no, I that's the only way to get into that box with the ladder, right? No, you can drop it into the box. Drop it into the box. What do we need to turn on and off? Oh, here? you can just go up and down, I guess? Yeah. Oh, I can't, okay, so I can't drop it onto here. So this this one's protected. Okay. The other two are all maneuverable, okay. Okay. So that's got the spool, that turns off that. This connects down to there, here, okay. So this one, Let's just try. Let's just do something. Cool. Let's just let's just take action. Right. Turn this off. Let's run over here. Oh, okay. Right here. Uh, okay. Yep. Boop. Okay. Is there connected now? Up up here. I've got the key. So now this ladder. We can connect. Connects down. We should connect it down, yeah. So we got our key. So you can use it to unlock. Perfect. Is there more? Up, get the spool. Am I missing stuff? I don't know. Or did I just take a shorter? That's weird. Hey! I feel like I skipped most of everything there. Ooh. Wait, where are we? Okay. Is this just... Oops. Oh no! Uh oh. Don't you dare. There we go. I, just... I guess on, I just did... I just did a too good of a jump. Yeah, you're just too good. So good at platform and stuff. Hey, okay, there you go. Spool. Nice, not bad. Nice. Okay, so we got the spool. Let's get out of here, light bulb. Spool, light bulb, and box. Oh, light bulb must be the thing that goes into the Game Boy this time. Because each time it's been something different. Okay, so that okay, connects. fair. So now we hop into... Does this one down into the Game Boy? Yeah, okay. Okay, plug it in, yes! Awesome. It's getting po more powerful. No, you can tell. It's juicing up. Right, there okay, you go. Okay, cool. All right, there you go. I think that's probably that's a good stopping right, point. We're, we're flying, man. Right? Flying through it. Woo! Look at that. This was really fun. This is great. This is a good Monday game. Way to exercise the brain. Get ready for the week. If you enjoy this, um, Chris, who, who made this game? Uh, you don't say, Chris. Really? Hey, it's wow. an unusual. It's an unusual developer, but you know these indie these indie titles are sometimes yeah, a little names. wacky. We have some fun names. They get creative with them. Skookum Arts made this. Skookum game. Arts. Um, and is it? Wait, does it cost money? Do you do it download sure it? It does. Okay. <laughs> many do. <laughs> yeah. Does it cost money? Money. <laughs> yeah, totally fine. We just did a really high many? polished puzzle game for you. It's fine. It's fine. It's free. It's free. Uh, what platform? Steam. Steam. All of, all cool. Of the all the uh, no, Steam. It's always Steam. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining. Yeah. We'll be back. We'll be back tomorrow. tomorrow. Have a happy tomorrow. President's Day, friend. Yeah. Hopefully you had the day off, but if not, well, neither did we. So there well, you go. <laughs> hopefully we were able to join you and teach you a little bit more about the presidents. About presidents. You walk away with lots of fun facts today, and we'll see you tomorrow. Indeed, we shall. So anyway, guys, have a great rest of your day. And remember, that's just a stream. Oh, la 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 live stream. Do you smell la 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 the live stream? I Thanks for not. watching. Okay, bye. <laughs> I, I, I smell it. No. Oh, Minecraft theory. Why don't you need fluids? Ooh. Nugget for president. A lot of nugget for lot president. A lot of nugget for president. Connor Fiorello, Aquarius. Aquarius. I agree. Nugget is my favorite president. 
God bless kindergarten.